Okay, so we're going to talk about this wonderful instrument called the Vuvuzela, which has been, I guess, criticised very heavily in very many places you know, because it features throughout all the World Cup games. People are blowing it incessantly. Um, you can hear it very clearly on, on different uh, World Cup commentaries. I'll try, I'm not the best at this, but I'll try and get a tone out of it. Like any other wind instrument that you actually, or thing that you blow into, the way it works is that you set up a resonance of air inside the column. And it's that resonance of air that, that gives the air moving back and forth rapidly inside the column at a particular frequency which is set by the, the, the length of the column. Microphone, laptop, the microphone is being fed in through a USB port here. Okay, so what, what, what we're going to do now is we're going to take one phrase. This is Philip Moriarty, University of Nottingham, for 60 symbols. This is Philip Moriarty, University of Nottingham, for 60 symbols. Right, so let's save that. So here's Phil, who's a, a keen amateur trombonist, self-described, and what he's going to do is play a note on the Vuvuzela much better than I can. Three, two, one. <laughs> going to do here is load in that sample of my speech and we're going to look at the frequency Moriarty, spectrum. University of Nottingham for 60 symbols. So what we have here is a frequency spectrum of that phrase I said and you can see that there are lots and lots of different peaks spread across this is going from 100 Hertz up to about 3 kilohertz and those are the, the, the primary components of my the primary frequencies in my voice. If we look at the Vuvuzela <laughs> So, if we look at this frequency spectrum, you see that it actually differs quite substantially from the spectrum of my voice. And what we see here, we've got three very well-defined peaks in this spectrum. This one here, we call the fundamental. That's the lowest wavelength, the lowest frequency that can exist in that tube, and that's about 220 hertz. Now, I know from the physics of that instrument that this, without even measuring it, that this will be 440, twice times 220. And this will be six, round about 663 times 220. So that's the fundamental, what we call the second harmonic, and the third harmonic. Now, so what we're going to do now is while Phil plays that note, I'm going to try and say the exact same phrase I said before. These are very loud instruments, so I might have to shout quite a bit. And then we're going to see if we can um, filter out the sound of the Vivazula from the sound of my voice. Right, OK. Three, two, one. So that's, that's the problem the, the commentators have um, with the matches in that you've got this incredible drone going on all the time in the background and you're trying to hear, you're, you're trying to make yourself heard above that drone. And so that's why the television companies are very, very interested in trying to filter out that drone from the sound of the voice. And now what I'll do is I'll try and take you through just how we do that or just how the companies do it. <laughs> So let's la load in that speech and Vuvuzela sample again. And let's play that back row. So this is Philip Moriarty, University of Nottingham, for 60 symbols. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter out these first three harmonics. So the one at roughly 220, 440, and 660. And let's hear what difference that makes to the, the sound. So this is Philip Moriarty, University of Nottingham, for 60 symbols. So you can hear immediately that the sound of my voice with respect to the sound of the Vuvuzela has come up. Um, it's clearer, you can get a bit more definition, but you can still hear the Vuvuzela. And the reason you can hear the Vuvuzela is, you, well, you can see almost from here, you can see that as well as these three very strong harmonics, we have these other harmonics. And in fact, if I blew up the scale here, you'd see that the harmonics going all the way out here. So let's try it again. Um, but this time, instead of doing just those three harmonics, let's do eight harmonics and see what difference that makes. So this is Philip Moriarty, University of Nottingham, for 60 symbols. So you can still hear it in the background, and if I continue this process, we could get rid of more and more of that Vuvuzela. But the problem is, while we're getting rid of the Vuvuzela, we're also taking out bits of the frequency spectrum associated with my speech. So you've got to draw this balance, this compromise, and that's why it's in 
impossible to totally decouple those two. What I've shown you is something called notch filtering. And the reason it's called notch filtering is that we're taking little notches out of the frequency spectrum and getting rid of those. And that's, that's straightforward and that's very simple to do. Now, there's a rather less reputable company has um, decided that what they're going to do is they're going to supply a recording, an MP3 of um, Vuvuzula sound that they argue has been recorded so it's in antiphase. And antiphase means that the peaks and the troughs of the waves line up. So their idea is that you'll cancel out those waves. This is just complete and utter nonsense. If you see this on the web and you see some sort of recording or MP3 that you can download for $3 or $10 or £3 or £2.99 or whatever, just don't buy it.